So just at the lakes in St Albans and met up with my brother for a couple of days. So just showing him around the area, walked across this little bridge here. And as you were aware, I used to go magnet fishing quite a lot. Anyway, scooter. So yeah, I'm just on the outskirts of Sandridge in Hertfordshire, St Albans. Just having a walk through the countryside. Such a beautiful day. Got my speaker on me, so got music for the walk. Until obviously I stop playing music to then film any footage or content I can see. We're at Jersey Farm Woodland Park. I don't know if you can read that because of the sun. If you can, just have a pause. Sun is cleaning. Yeah. No, it's just here. So it looks like we have a transporter carrying a broken down bin lorry and it's tried going around the roundabout and it's tipped and it's no, near enough on the road. police on scene pretty just to help direct traffic but I reckon they're gonna get a transporter on its way to help move this out of the road before it causes any more damage
So it's been about half an hour, I reckon. Police are still on scene, managing public and transport. This is just off Hatfield Road at a roundabout. It's an Auburn Tandoori and the Cock Pub and the Blacksmiths. Wow. So, police from the scene. The lorry is tilting. It could fall at any time, to be honest. So, they've put tape up, they've got extra police cars. I think they're going to wait for a transport, um, a crane or something just to help. But we've got one, two, three police cars on scene, I believe and possibly between six to eight police officers as well. The fuck is this guy? All because of this. See that lamp post? Look at it, still swinging the gun. <laughs> Jeez! So it's been about an hour now, police are on scene. You've got a guy with a tow truck on a scene that was just driving past at the time. But went for bigger transport to be able to push this up or pick it up and then move the trailer around. So yeah, bottom of St. Peter Street is being cordoned off by the police. There is three buses, gridlot further up. Because of St. Peter Street being closed, because of the accident, the traffic has come up on Brickett Road. Look all that traffic. So it's probably been about three hours 
and still they're waiting transport to move this truck so yeah that was interesting sadly my battery on my phone died and i had no portable charger on me or didn't even have my charger so i couldn't charge it up anywhere but what happened was the truck driver reversed really slowly and managed to straighten out and balance out the trailer that the bin lorry was on and with doing that he's managed to then drive off towards his destination without the bin lorry falling in without any members of the public getting hurt um so yeah all in all right place right time normally i get home and i see posts saying oh this happened in town or oh this happened you know and i feel damn why wasn't i there but this time i was you know and it's content like this that i love bringing to the channel but anyway it is tuesday the morning after yesterday with the truck incident and sadly you saw the weather during the truck and the bin lorry and now it's all grey and gloomy and it is currently raining absolutely disgusting welcome to Britain eh? Heathlands Drive which leads up to the former abandoned fire station. Now the new fire station, St Albans Community City Fire Station is located on London Road. Um, back in the day, they used to keep two fire engines at the town hall underneath the arches so that's been boarded up but that would have been a way into the reception as you see all the windows have been boarded up but I thought I'd come and film this because all of this is said to be not down soon and housing accommodation will be in place. If there's a way in, then I will see if I can get through and just film a bit better. I'm not sure whether you can hear the rain coming down. Oh, there's a gap here. Then you've got another fence just there. You could probably get through there or squeeze down. Yeah, all around here there's woodland. You've got the old training tower there. Oh, I'll bring you back in a second, guys. Right, so I've managed to climb over 
the gap. That would have been the old office block. Operational support workshop in the distance over there. Yeah, it's been raining for the last three, four days now. Absolutely disgusting weather. We had all that beautiful sunshine. As you could see earlier on in the video with the RTA. Duplo. I mean, they say follow the yellow brick road, but I'm following the red brick road. As you can see, a lot of things get dumped here, to be honest. But yeah, we're in. And there's no security that operate this area either. The tower is padlocked. All these holes to slip down that one. So you probably saw the camera go like that quickly. I need to look where I'm going, rather than look straight ahead. Yeah, that would have been the training tower. But all this is being knocked down and redeveloped into housing. I'm going to go over that way, go around there and see what's behind there. There's not a lot to see. Most of it's been shut off. You know, you can't really get in there. You've even got the old hose reels. A hose would sit on there. Linked up to possibly some water running underneath ground, maybe. Got another one there. But I don't think many people have explored this location due to the fact that there's not much to see, to be honest. Your big gates. I'm wondering if this is where the fire engines were kept. But then possibly, I'm not sure to be honest. Fenced off at the end there. And that's triggered the alarm. Which trespassing is a civil offence anyway. So if the police were to come then really they can't really do nothing because it's a civil matter. The only time police can actually do you for trespassing is if you've had a court order preventing you from going to a certain place or certain area. And that's when they can sort of say that you're breaching your order. Yeah, the alarm only went off for about five seconds. Oh, 
old spray can there. not too bad of a site though to be honest it's quite a wide area whether they're putting houses on here or flats i'm not sure I see remains of a building which would have run along here probably stood on top of the old building actually where i am As you can see, loads of rubbish. I'm not sure how long this has been here. But I thought around the end of this video up by showing you this fire station. If you've watched my last four or five videos, you'll see where the new fire station is on London Road. Now back through here. So didn't notice this on the way out, but accident kicked it, believe me. My foot hurts as well. <laughs> but just on this, it's got a pedal on it. I'm not sure if it's from a motorbike or one of them customized push bikes that you can turn into peds or anything. I'm really not sure. If anyone knows, drop drop it in the comments. I've never seen one of them before, to be honest. As you can probably tell, absolutely soaked. But thank you for watching this video if you've watched it to the end i appreciate the support don't forget to hit the notification bell and the subscribe button as well to be notified when my next video is coming out um i'll probably end up filming the old roman grounds around st albans um, where the Romans used to operate. So, keep your eyes peeled. Not sure when I'm going to start that video. But, like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, share, comment, like, you know what to do. That is it. I am done. And thank you for watching. Peace out, keep smiling, stay safe, be happy.